Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, brought to you by Bet DSI, and I'm your host, Mitchell Renz. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at MitchellRenz365, for the latest Raiders news and rumors. So, one of the biggest rumors going around right now is where the Raiders are going to play in 2019, and the latest report is that they're going to play in Arizona. This one for me, though... I think it's only one Chucky head. I just think it's a small shred of the truth that the Raiders are going to play in Arizona. I mean, Arizona Raiders? Come on. That just sounds horrible to me. So, a Tucson, Arizona attorney says he spoke to the Raiders president, Mark Bedane, to pitch an idea of having the team move there for the 2019 season before relocating to Vegas. He says, I'd like to give it the best shot possible. What do we have to lose? Uh, he told the Arizona Daily Star, it's a long shot, but we're going to put our best foot forward to turn the impossible into possible. Now, the stadium holds 55,000 spectators, and it opened in 1929, and it was re 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 wow, renovated words in 2013. So it's a little bit up to date, which is nice to see, but 55,000, you know, not really, I think, all that much for an NFL stadium. But at the end of the day, if it's the only spot the Raiders can play, hey, you know, so be it. So I got a question for y'all. Will the Raiders play in Oakland in 2019? I want you to type Y for yes or type N for no. And if you want to know what I think, DM me on Twitter at MitchellRens365. Raider Nation. What's going on? Subscribe below to YouTube.com slash Raiders Report to get on my famous Raider Nation rumors. All you got to do, again, subscribe below YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. I'm trying to get to 10K subscribers because guess what that means? More shows for y'all. Next rumor coming up here on the board. Are the Raiders going to play in San Diego? So we got two rumors around where they're going to play. This one's a little bit more likely, but still only two Chucky heads for me. Uh, people are talking, and I just think at this point people are just – throwing out city names. They're like, oh, yeah, the Raiders could play there. But this is one where um, the Raiders have, have seen success there. But uh, we'll say this. Two years ago, the Chargers, they moved from San Diego to Los Angeles, and a lot of people critique the move. Now, the San Diego State Aztecs did take over the Chargers' old stadium, which is the San Diego County Credit Union Stadium. And according to Pro Football Talk, Dan Sillo of 97.3, the fan in San Diego, reports the Raiders have contacted the office of San Diego about playing in SDCCU Stadium. As of Wednesday afternoon, though, the mayor's answer has not been revealed. So, again, I, I think this one's only two chucky heads. The Raiders don't really know where they're going to play. I'm still hoping that they play in Oakland. I think this is pretty cool, though. The Raiders' all-time record is 30-20-1 in San Diego. And I think uh, from what I've heard and from you know what I've seen in pictures, when the Raiders would go to San Diego to play the Chargers, there's a lot more black. So uh, Raider Nation travels, and I bet you they would travel to San Diego as well. I got a question. Where are the Raiders going to play in 2019? I want you to comment below if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, literally anywhere that you see this video, comment below where are the Raiders going to play in 2019. If you like betting on sports, there's only one place to play there, and it's at BetDSI. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. And use that promo code LIVE120 for a 120% deposit bonus. Raider Nation, if you put down $50, you're going to get $60 for free. If you put down $100, you get $120 for free. If you put down $500, guess what? $600 for free. Shout out to Bet DSI if we're going to sell with the best promo code on the internet. My next rumor here is around the NFL draft. And are the Raiders going to draft Cleveland Furl? This one's two Chucky heads for me. And I just think it's a, you know, people are talking and I think it's literally a coin flip at this point. I mean, the Raiders have a lot of potential, but from our very own here at Chat Sports, Tom Downey, he did one of his famous mock drafts. And if y'all don't follow Tom for mock drafts or NFL draft, I don't know what you're doing. But this is what happened. So Tom did his latest mock draft, and he had number four there, and the Raiders took Clellan Furl. And the Raiders are in obvious need of a pass rush help, and, you know, he probably could have been a first-rounder last year. And when you look at his 2018 stats, I mean, this guy's talented. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And he flashed that, or I don't know if he flashed it. Apparently somebody flashed it at the College Football National Championship game. But Furl flashed his talent all season long. 51 tackles, 11.5 uh, sacks, 18.5 tackles for a loss, and three forced fumbles. Big, tall dude, and he's going to be able to fit a need for the Raiders. And, hey, if Tom Downey thinks that he's good enough to go to the Raiders – I'm uh, going to listen to that guy because he knows what's up. So, Raiders on the clock, fourth pick. Who are you taking? And I want to know from you, who are the Raiders going to take at the number four pick in the 2019 NFL Draft? Next rumor here is around potentially the Raiders' 2018 MVP. It's around Jared Cook. 
And is Jared Cook going to leave the Raiders? Last week I came on the show and I said the Raiders are going to re-sign him. And I gave it three chalky heads. But somebody came out today and wrote a nice little thing that they think they're going to let Jared Cook go. I'm going to give this one one chalky head just because I just don't see how the Raiders could possibly let Jared Cook leave. I mean, he's no doubt Derek Carr's favorite option. And he showed that the last two years. I mean, he's an absolute stud. And I understand he's a free agent in 2019. I understand that he's going to be 31 years old. But he's looking for a two- to three-year deal. And if his deal's, let's say, around that $6 million mark, I'm signing Jared Cook. I mean, this past year, he saw 101 targets. He had 68 catches, 896 yards, and six touchdowns. Like, how are we not going to re-sign Derek Carr's best option? And if you let him go, who the heck is, he gonna, who the heck is Derek Carr going to throw to? Like, even the wide receivers a little bit, you know, not too glamorous. Maybe if they go out and get A.B., I could be okay with it. But at the end of the day, Raiders, y'all better sign Jared Coker. I'm going to be mad. All right, so I got a question from you. What should the Raiders do with Jared Cook? Type K for keep or type L for let go? I'd be really surprised if I see a lot of L's, maybe a little bit of L for love. If you don't know that movie reference, look it up. So what should the Raiders do with Jared Cook? I want you to type K for keep or type L for let go. My next rumor here is going to be a juicy one, and it's around Kyler Murray. And are the Raiders going to draft Kyler Murray? So, Murray came out and basically said that he's going to enter the 2019 NFL Draft. So, of course, somebody put him in a mock draft. This one's only one chalk he had for me. I just think it's a small shred of truth that the Raiders go ahead and draft Kyler Murray. And there's been rumors all offseason about Murray being a potential Oakland Raider. And uh, I get the glamour and, you know, flash of it. So, somebody did the mock draft. They had the Raiders pick uh, Kyler Murray at pick 27 which is the pick they got from the Amari Cooper trade and I understand he won the Heisman and here's the other issue though he's probably going to play baseball and at this point I don't see why Kyler Murray wouldn't at least just enter the NFL draft like what does the dude have to lose like absolutely nothing so when you look at his numbers they're jaw dropping I mean hence why he won the Heisman a nice completion percentage there 4,361 yards 42 touchdowns seven interceptions that's his passing, right? Now we're going to look at his rushing. I mean, his rushing is laughable. 1,100 yards on the ground, 12 touchdowns, 7.2 yards per carry, and 140 attempts. Now, I may be a little ballsy to say he's probably not going to do that in the NFL, but hey, at the end of the day, this dude is a freak athlete. But people are always going to compare Kyler Murray and Bo Jackson. Why? Because they both could be potential Raiders, and Bo Jackson did it at a high level. So why can't Kyler Murray? So did they both win player of the year? Yes. Did they both win the Heisman? Yes, Bo, though, was drafted first overall in the MLB draft. Kyler, unfortunately, was drafted ninth, poor guy. And then Bo Jackson, first overall pick in the NFL draft. I don't think Kyler's going to be first. In fact, you know, I would probably, uh, him him not being first-round pick, I would almost put money on it. But he could, uh, or not the first overall pick, could be a first-round pick. Words, again, tough, guys, I'm sorry. But originally, when this rumor first came out, they said that, oh, Kyler could just play for the Oakland A's baseball team, then he could play for the Oakland Raiders. So I just want to break down where the Oakland A's minor league affiliates are. You got the Vermont Lake Monsters. First off, these names are incredible. And you got the Beloit Snappers, the Stockton Ports, the Midland Rockhounds, and here's the one. Triple A for the Oakland A's, their affiliate, plays in Las Vegas. So he could be a Las Vegas Aviator and an Oakland Raider. Makes sense, right? Or a Las Vegas Raider, I guess, at that time. But again, one chuck out in the Kyler Murray rumor it's at least fun to talk about so if he's on the board and the Raiders have a pick there would you want them to draft Kyler Murray I want you to type D for draft or type P for pass I'm typing my P for pass don't DM me about this one next rumor coming up here on the board uh the Raiders gonna trade for Nick Foles big you know what Nick and I'm only gonna give this one one chucky head because I just don't get why the Raiders would trade for Nick Foles and when you see that the trade that this person came up with, you know, it's a little bit ridiculous. So, again, the source came out and said that the Raiders are going to trade for Nick Foles. And Bleacher Report said that Mike Freeman, or Mike Freeman wrote, after speaking with scouts around the league, there will likely be plenty of interest in Nick Foles. Yeah, no shit. One scout believes Raiders coach John Gruden will use some of that booty from the Khalil Mack and Amari Cooper trades, those two first rounders, and basically propose a trade to the Eagles that they can't refuse. And here's the trade that he came up with. And yeah. Why? Like, why are we giving up two first-round picks for Nick Foles? Like, Nick Foles has done a lot of great things, and I think he's, you know, could go on to have a great career. But we have Derek Carr, and whether you want to think Derek Carr is not good or not, 
I'm not going to pay Derek Carr and Nick Foles, and I'm not going to give up two first-round picks for Nick Foles. Please, get out of here. Now, sure, I'm going to say that. It's 2018 season. It's okay. Like, 72.3% completion percentage. The yards are okay. Seven touchdowns, four interceptions. But I don't really think that you're going to pay him on his regular season. We're hoping Nick can bring his, you know, postseason magic to Oakland or to the Raiders. And But when you look at his career, uh, he's had an okay career. I think when take away that one bad year he had with Jeff Fisher where he threw seven touchdowns and ten interceptions. And, you know, Nick Foles has actually worked himself a pretty good career. Heck, he had a career year the one time when he threw for 27 touchdowns and two interceptions. But I understand Mike Mayock has done some work with the Eagles. I just don't really think that he's going to go there. So I got a question from you. If this trade would to go down, who's the better quarterback? Is it Nick Foles or is it Derek Carr? If you're watching on Facebook, give me a like for Foles. Give me a heart for Carr. If you're watching on YouTube, just comment below. Who's the better quarterback, Nick Foles or Derek Carr? I Even though I think Nick Foles would look great in silver and black, I'm just not totally sold on it. But I guarantee he would look really good in Miz and Main. Go to www.comfortable.af to see for yourself how amazing these dress shirts are. They're the best damn dress shirts on the internet, and they're the best damn dress shirts in America because they're made in America. So again, Miz and Main, check them out, www.comfortable.af. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right now. Here, I'm giving you Chucky Heads, news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors, and look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.